We are here in Malaysia, walking around the mall. This is uh, actually our apartment's right upstairs, so it's awesome. But yeah, look at this mall, it's insane. They have so much stuff. Well, let me just show you the size of this mall. It's insane. I like a net there, too, just in case someone tries to jump, apparently. Look at that. How many floors do you think that is? So we're gonna go get uh, some fresh fruits and yogurts and see how that goes. Yeah, so the good thing about Malaysia, basically we took a break to come out here and uh, get some amazing <laughs> fresh fruits everywhere. This is like amazing fresh fruit. Um, super good quality, They're very cheap. So in the Philippines, yeah, you just can't get any quality food. So, I had to come out here. Mango. That's vegetarian. You want peanuts? Do I want peanuts? No? It's like a weird Mexican dip sauce. It looks like the Mexican stuff. They always like uh, tahin. Tahin, yeah. So again, the thing with the Philippines is that uh, the food is just horrible. Like if I eat fruit there, I'll just shit for days. So um, we came out here to get some fresh. Uh, we're just taking advantage of all the fresh, amazing, cheap food here. It's insane. Cheap too. Like what was this? It was like. It's like a bad one. Okay, so apparently there's a theme park in the mall I didn't even know about. Yes, it is. This is insane. I didn't even know this existed. Should we right there? This is the room. And the good thing about Malaysia, again, is the food. So just super amazing quality food here for really cheap, fresh fruits and everything. So we basically came here to pack up on, uh, on gear and get all kinds of new stuff. Got the fruits. We got a new wallet, the 360, uh, Insta360 gear over here, and then socks. That's another good thing about Malaysia, so. But the thing about these socks is you can't find them anywhere. So I've been looking for these for like years, but these socks, with the, they have these little booty things. I don't know what they are. They're amazing. So can't get this stuff in, in uh, the Philippines. Like quality of life here, like everything's easy to find. What I really love about it is that everything's easy to find. The infrastructure is really good. The people are like organized. People can get shit done. So we were over in the Philippines and like, if I eat like fresh fruit like this in the Philippines, I'll shit for like five days continuously. It wasn't like my body had to adjust, but amazingly fresh fruit everywhere. Everything's close. Good uh, public transportation. The roads are great. I really think this might be like one of the best value cities. And it's half the price of um, like where I live in the Philippines right now. Everything there is so expensive. Like what, this was like maybe $3 for all of this fruit. And if you don't know these, uh, they also have this super interesting dips for their fruits. It like reminds me of Mexico. So it's like some spicy dip. You can put it on fruit. Probably not that great with the, um, but yeah, just taking advantage of uh, all the amazing things here right now because we will be back in the philippines shortly but while we're here i'll show you guys around take a tour and give you a rundown of the place but so far the pricing just looks amazing things are super cheap and very very good quality food so we're out here in chinatown now
I just heard Vietnamese, Thai, Indian. So this is like a, basically this is like a, um, what I'm learning is that Malaysia is like a central trading hub from like, for centuries now, they've been like the central trading hub of Southeast Asia. It's Ketaling Street. <laughs> what? This one is called Ketaling Street. Ketaling Street. That's where we are. Is that it? Yeah, Ketaling Street. Yeah, so we're in uh, Ketaling Street. And yeah, what I'm figuring out is this is the central trading hub of Southeast Asia. And you can tell that it's like basically um, everything's cheap. They have amazing. Brand, they have good brands from all over the world, basically from China and India. They import and export through there. So you can get like amazing quality things here for like super cheap. Uh, I got like this arrow bag. It's like, I think this was like $20. So it's obviously cheaper if there's like a American country, or sorry, an American company is going to import something here way cheaper than they would import it from the US, right? So you pay like almost half the prices and they have to lower the prices to compete because of the uh, cost of living here. So you basically can get anything you'd be able to get in the US for like half the price at this point because of that. So yeah, it's really cool. Super multicultural as well. Like again, Indian, What? it's a mix of Indian, Malay, and what else? Chinese. So people from southern Chinese China and then um, Indians and the native Malays. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is called Mukbang. Mukbang. It's called tendon. Thank soup. you. Let me try it. This is hot. Uh, hot sauce. Is it yeah, it's too hot, right? Mm -hmm. How do you eat shit so hot all the time? I like it. First, uh, can we put this all together? Like yeah, just throw it in there. Except I didn't get to taste it yet without. Let me Wait, taste, did I taste it. it. Taste yeah, I'm it trying. Before it mixed. Yeah. yeah, it's like Vietnam, Vietnamese quality broth right there. Amazing. Yeah. They've been like cooking it all day or something. So this is like a tendon noodle soup. 20, 20, what, it, what is the money called? 70 RM. So that's like a little less than $5. Maybe about $5, right? About $5, not too bad. Very good bro. So I had my client the other day tell me, he's in uh, New York City, he's telling me that I'm lucky and he's jealous of me because I get to go around and travel. I'm like, well, why don't you go travel? And he's saying, oh, because I have kids and you know, I need important schooling and health, all, all these things, all these reasons that he can't do what he wants to do. I mean, I don't know about, uh, like I'm pretty sure that American education is subpar, maybe average in the world. And I don't know about you, but if I was going to have a kid, I would definitely be homeschooling. I don't think there's any better education than following your own interests and figuring out how to do things on your own. So that's the way I would do it. And I see plenty, there's plenty of families around here who come out and travel, um, expatriates, whatever you have. So just, you know, I just always see these people, they get these fixed mindsets. They make all these reasons they can't do what they want to do. It's like, it's your life. You don't, you know, time is your most valuable asset. Why, why do you create these excuses for not doing what you want to do? It's 2023. Like I'm not special. I'm not some like uh, special guy. Just come out here and like make it work. Bintang. 
morning and I just got some of the most amazing bar, uh, shawarma I've ever had in my life. And you know, this actually reminds me of a modern day Times Square, except you don't have to worry about getting shoved off of the subway platform and ran over by a train. So here it is, the Times Square of Malaysia, right in the heart of uh, Phuket Bintang. So I'm very impressed with the quality of life here in Kuala Lumpur. This would definitely be top on my list of places to live. Everything's cheap. It's an export, import-export hub, so you get like cheap Chinese products and everything you could basically find on Amazon is here. Um, infrastructure is amazing. Quality of food, everything's like clean and organized. People are like fairly punctual and um, like they do things right. So yeah, I am thoroughly impressed with the with Kuala Lumpur. I was not expecting it to be this nice. 